Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be explaining 100% on Black Ops 4 and some of the challenges you might want to watch out for. And I'm also going to be showing some other things like my stats and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's get, start get going here real, quick, real fast. So, for my classes, I'm just going through them. Spitfire, Cordite, Maddox. I usually just only use this when kids are going sweaty, but sometimes you got to use it. We got a sniping class. Got a Pendaburst, double eye caliber, because a lot of people love to use that, so I had to pull it out sometimes. I got a hardcore acoustic sensor class for, yeah, hardcore. This is just a Mozu class, it's not really set up too well. I got a SWAT. I got a Haze with crossbar. A KN class. A ABR. This is this is really fun to use. And yeah, that's that's all my classes. For score streaks. I usually run UAV, Snipers, Strike Team, or UAV, Drone Squad, Strike Team, or any, some, 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 a bunch of variations like that. Like, instead of Snipers and Nest, I just brand Mantis, because why not? Just trying to have some fun. And, if you go ahead and look at my stats, I am currently level 594, with 16 days and 12 hours. Played, as my total play time, I have a 2.18 win-lose ratio. I have a total of 100,000 kills, just above. I have a 2.95 KD with uh, my highest kill streak being a 55. I have 11 million score so far, and my score per minute is 482. If you go over my medals, I have a pretty good, I'd say a pretty good amount. I got just above, just below 8,000 headshots, and just below 400 unstoppables and three kill chains. You may be thinking, how do you have 56 nukes, but only 397 unstoppables? That's because I just love to choke them when I get to 30. I don't know. I, I die a lot as soon as I hit 30. And sometimes, as you can see, I die a lot on the Brutals. I've choked nearly half of my nukes, which is quite unfortunate, but it's all right. I got 91 quad feeds and yada, yada, yada. All right, let's start going over the challenges. And if you want to go for this, if you're excited, if you think it's going to be a quick and easy grind, it is definitely not. I'd say it's it's a little bit better than Black Ops 3 just because the Thermite kills. Nobody wants to do that. Just because of that reason only, I'd say Black Ops 4 is a little bit easier than Black Ops 3. So if you go into Operations, Boot Camp, pretty easy. You don't, most of this should get done just by playing the game, but some of them you might, want to, might have to do manually, like underwater kills. But besides that... Boot camp is pretty easy. For Killer Master, this really depends on your play style and how you play. If you're a really aggressive player, like these triple and double kills, you'll get done easy peasy. And these Furies, yeah, you'll get that done. And something like the Merciless Killer and the Ruthless Killer, you'll get that done over time if you play carefully, if you're going for these. But most of the time, you'll get it, you'll have it done before you even notice. Some of these might require some more focus, like the Force Beast Dinner. Which can actually be tough for some people. Getting quad feeds isn't that uncommon in this game, but it definitely isn't easy. For humili humiliation, definitely one of the ones where you might have to do some stuff. For example, the 15 knockout medals and the 15 afterlife medals. You can get the afterlife done pretty easy just by walking up to an enemy, let him shoot you and throw a cluster bomb at him and try to stick him as he kills you. That usually gets you an afterlife medal, but it's just pretty much chance. You really have to just try for it and hope you get it. For the uh, knuckle duster, just run a basic knife class with dexterity, lightweight, dead silence, all that stuff, and just put it on your fists. That's all you have to do. If if you really can't get it done normally, if if that's a possibility. For hail mary, M mary, sorry, this is another one that's a little difficult. The easiest way to get this done is by throwing a tomahawk across the nuke town windows. That actually is. The perfect distance for this to activate. And that's how I got mine done. The, the only other tough one in this area is the surprise. Some people, some people don't know how to do this. Basically what you have to do is just have a go and get an enemy care package. And while you had the engineer perk on, you can booby trap it. And if he if somebody tries to go get it after you booby trap it, it will explode. And you'll get one of these. You have to get five of them. It's, it's not that common for this to occur naturally. So you might have to go for this one if you're going for 100 center. For precision, pretty basic challenges. The only one that is kind of tough, the one you'll have to go for the most, is the in the flow. 
basically what you have to do is get a kill with your primary and secondary as a double kill. So, and the easiest way to get this done is either use two stun machine guns in core, or rock two pistols in hardcore, and then you'll get it, you'll just get it done that way. Not that difficult, but it can be tough for some people. Killjoys. Here's where it starts getting tough. <clears throat> I'm sure you can imagine these have to do with shutdowns, and yes, these are some of these are ridiculous. Some of them take way too long. Like uh, most of these are extremely challenging. So the first one, Crimey River. This one you can't go for. You just have to get lucky and kill somebody before they get a single kill with their specialist issue weaponry. I'd say you probably have like 20, 30 of these at Prestige Master, so it shouldn't be that much after you get there. This one get 100 shutdown medals with with a specialist weapon equipped. Not that difficult. Just as soon as you hear a specialist weapon go off, just pull out yours and just spray them with it. I recommend War Machine for this one. It makes it 10 times easier just because you can spam it in the relative direction. All right, situation normal. This one is very annoying to go for because I don't know. It's just not that not that common. To shut down people with special weapons, which is not that common, and it just, it just takes a little bit. I, at, when I was at Prestige Master, I had about 32 of these, and you have to really go for them t to get them done quickly, or else it'll take quite a while. Actually, what is this one? Get 100 shutdown medals. Okay, this one's just shutdown medals. You don't need to kill somebody with their special weapon. So this, this one will happen over time. It shouldn't be that difficult. This one, on the other hand, can be possibly the make or break of your 100%er. If you're playing on PC, uh, I pray for you if you're trying to go for this one. The no stick game, like on the stick game on console helps us so much. It's so ridiculous how much this helps you. But on PC, you have to aim manually, so this one's really tough on PC. It can be tough on console too if you're not that fast with aiming or you don't have that fast of reflexes, considering the grass slam is only usually active for 600 milliseconds. Which can be quite ridiculous considering that you need 10 of these for this medal. But you only need one for the Dark Ops challenge? I just think that's a little dumb. But, go on. Weak point. Um, yeah, once again, this will just happen over time. You can't really do too much to help with it. Debuffs, that will happen just naturally. That'll happen naturally. Naturally. Okay, this one. Another annoying one. Surprisingly enough, like the, the fourth or fifth annoying one in this category. You have to use a Dart RCXD or Control the Mantis and get shut down medals with that. Kind of annoying, but I'd recommend if you hear like a War Machine go off, Annihilator, just throw your Dart in the relative direction of that and try your best to kill him. It's not too difficult, but it can definitely be annoying. For... what's the last hard one? Yeah, Lights Out. Um, yeah, Lights Out. This one is... Uh, I'd probably say a little bit easier than Crash Landing, because this one you just have to get 10 um, recon shutdowns just before he pulses for the second time. So you just have to get lucky and kill him before he pulses for the second time. It's it's not that fun to go for, considering uh, people play recon a lot, but they usually activate their pulse in a safe area, so not that easy to come by. Alright, let's go on to... Career. All right. So in game victories, pretty straightforward. Not much I can give you some tips on. For these ones, however, I'd recommend definitely playing with a team, especially the especially supremacy and shout out, and clean sleep too. So I'd recommend if you're going for these bottom three, I recommend going with a full squad of decent players because this one can be a little ridiculous, but it's not. It's it's manageable definitely in hard point, but. Domination is kind of hard. <clears throat> Tour of Duty. This is basically your hardcore um, challenges. Everything in here is usually like just grindy ones for hardcore. Some of these are just normal like win 500 public matches, stuff like that. But some of these are a little tough. Like the things are looking up. All you have to do is get injured and then heal and then get a kill afterwards. This time frame is really tight. I don't understand why they made it that you can only this only counts if you heal and get a kill one or less seconds after you heal or else it won't count 
So this one can be a little frustrating, especially since it's hardcore and people love to camp in hardcore. And that's for that reason, people don't like to play it. And so this can this one can be a little tough. And Knuckle Sandwich, I'd recommend going for this one as you're going for the other one in, in hum Humiliation, I forgot where it is. Yeah, if we're going for this one as well, I'd recommend doing those both since you'll be getting two at a time. Alright, moving on to Game Heroics. This is another calling card that will make or break your 100%er. The first tough one, these these other ones are just grindy ones or you just have to be a decent player. But this one, ugh, this one takes quite a while. Because the wipeout medals are so specific, the chance of you getting 50 of them is just, oh, it's so it took so long. So basically what a wipeout medal is, if you kill somebody off of an objective that you own, for example, like if you capture a domination flag and somebody's attacking it and you kill them, you'll get the bounced medal. In order to get a wipeout medal, you have to get two bounced medals. But for it to count, you have to own the peop you have to own the flag that's getting attacked or the control point that's getting attacked. And you have to get two kill two or more kills on the objective and it has to clear the objective. So if somebody hops on at the last second, it won't count. So this challenge is this this is just rough just because of how not frequent it is for people to get on the same flag and you be able to kill them in the series. The, I'd recommend definitely playing control for this. Every time you're the defending rounds, I'd say save your specialist weapon and just spam it as soon as you see it, the bar going up extremely fast and then you'll usually get wipeout metal that way. But it still takes quite a while. The other one, Ninja. I'm sure everybody remembers this from Black Ops 3. Although it's a little bit easier in this game because you can do it in and um, heist, which makes it ten times easier. But it's the same concept, just defuse the bomb or um, extract the cash when you're only alive and the other team is alive. So that it's quite annoying, but if you have a full team, you can get it done by just having them kill themselves and you extract the cash when, you're, when they're the last one alive. For weapon proficiency, nothing I can say about here, just grindy weapon kills. Marksman, same here. No real tips, it's just that you'll get this if you're going for Dark Matter. And some of these ones you'll have to do, like, this one you have to get a Fury kill with the Gold Camo. And this one you have to get 10 kills with Dark Matter weapon. It's not that not that hard at all, just go for um, Dark Matter and you'll have this in no time. Specialized. Another tough category for the for really two, ch two challenges in here are really terrible. No, three. Our three in here are really annoying if you hate lethal specialists. For this first one, a thousand EKA with specialist equipment. If you never notice, you really only get three to four specialist equipment kills per game, and you have to get a thousand. So if you weren't, if you're maining somebody like Crash or somebody that's not lethal like Recon, this one's gonna be definitely a major grind. So I'd start going for this immediately if you're going for 100 percenter. Another really grindy one is Stay Cool. It's 250 objective EKIA with your special issue equipment. S same concept as this one. I would recommend playing Hardpoint and just camping the Hardpoint with Raptor Core. That's the best way to get it done. For this is the last one. And more wipeout medals, except all you have to do is get them with your specialist weapon or equipment. Kind of makes it like a lot easier. So you'll get this one done if you're going for wipeouts. Wipeouts, sorry. Next category, oops, oh yeah, score streaks. <laughs> Once again, more grindy ones for, for the just score streaks. The only difficult one is, so it's not really that difficult, it's just the hardest one, which is uh, threat neutralized, which all you have to do is get two or more kills when capturing an objective for lightning strike. So I'd say wait on the wait for two people to be capturing like the C flag in domination and then just use a hellstorm and kill them. That's probably definitely the easiest way to get it done. Alright, so for ground assault. Not hard, once again, more grindy ones. But there is two challenges in here, or three, I'd say three. Three challenges in here that will definitely get you stuck for a while. Where is it at? No, never mind, my bad. Two. 
heavy cover. This one's not that bad. You just have to get lucky and hopefully people run into it. I'd recommend. Sorry about that. I'd recommend just putting it near an objective, like a hard point or something like that. And if, if you get lucky, you'll be able to get both of these done in the same run. This one is it requires such a weird amount of luck. What you have to do is put a sentry down on on a active objective, and you have to have it kill three attackers. An attacker is considered somebody that contests the owned objective. So if you have somebody in a hard point, if your team has it captured and you put the sentry down and people come in and they get killed by a sentry, that counts. So it, it doesn't sound that hard, but it is because people don't just rush into the hard point with the sentry there. They'll be more tactile when it comes to it. For support, n nothing here to talk about, just grindy ones. Prestige. The most, you'll have the most fun in this category, definitely. For handling, it's just, um, grindy attachment kills. For efficiency, more grindy attachment kills. This one, definitely recommend playing on domination and just sitting on the B flag and getting kills. That's all you have to do. This one, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. Yeah. Oh, for this one, it, it's kind of misleading. You don't have to get like a fury kill. You don't have to get a frenzy kill by switching weapons. You just have to switch weapons and get each kill. It's not a multi-kill or anything. For tactile kits, nothing hard, just grindy ones. Gear, there's two challenges in here that are will probably require the most effort, charged up and job done. You have to use equipment charge and then just get 10 kills in one game and get five objective kills in one game. Pretty simple, but can be tough if you play a short game mode. So I'd recommend playing endurance or playing hardpoint. Those two options are great for this, and you should put, you should really get it done quickly, if you're especially if you're going for the equipment kills. For perks, just grindy ones, literally only grindy ones, no challenges. For equipment, nothing challenging in here. Some of them are just luck based, like the fire discipline. All these are luck based. You can, there's no real strategy to them. I'm sure you could find some strategies for them, but nothing worth talking about. And last, wild cards. This one is I had the most fun with, definitely, because they'll, you'll be able to use all these different wild cards. And these are just grindy ones, but they're really fun, actually. I had a lot of fun doing these. And yeah, that is all the challenges in Black Ops 4. It is definitely a grind, not. Uh, not as hard as Black Ops 3 though, but I'd say it's definitely worth it if you're definitely a completionist in these games. And I'll go ahead and show you the Dark Ops challenges. I'm only missing two and I'll explain those. So, you got Obtained, Relentless Killer, Brutal, Nuke Killer, Frenzy, Mega, Ultra Killer, Chain Killer, Nuked Out, Gemmed Out, From the Depths, Shrug It Off, and Get Out of Here. This one is a little tough. But this is what I don't get. They make it, all you have to do for this one is just get a shutdown, um, grab slam metal while he's in the air after using grappling gun. You only need one of those. Yet, in the Killjoys, you need ten. I, I don't know. I don't know what their idea was about that, but. These two right here, this one is to kill a fire break while he's using his purifier with a Molotov. So, kind of difficult, but you can get lucky and get it easy. And this one, this one's really tough. I'd say definitely probably the hardest Dark Ops challenge. Because of how much luck it takes over time. You have to shut down 10 Annihilators while using the Mozu or another Annihilator. So it just takes some time and effort. Especially when you're going for this. Because you have to look out for the Seraph at all times. And I'd say it's kind of annoying. But Dark Ops challenge is pretty simple. This one is actually glitched. Um, you can earn this two ways. By either getting Dark Matter. Or by... Having the highest kills and least deaths of everybody in the game. I thought that was kind of weird. This one is pretty fun too. You have to get 30 kills with each weapon. Each primary weapon with Dark Matter camo equipped on it. So that was just a fun little challenge to go for. And it's definitely a cool looking call card. So I'd recommend going for it. The hardest one besides 
um, the Seraph one is nuked out. It's just a nuclear with without using score streaks on free for all. Same thing as it had been in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. It's just it's still back in this game, and I'd say it's a little bit harder than Black Ops 3, just because you don't have VSAT or Power Core, but you can still um, go with it for Crash. It makes it way easier. And yeah, that is about it. As you can see, I have every single calling card besides the two Dark Ops Challenge ones, but that is it. That is Black Ops 4 multiplayer. If you enjoyed this video want to see more content in the 100% center, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.